Hey everyone, EcoFlow just sent me their new dual fuel smart generator that's designed to recharge their Delta Max and Pro models and power kits when the sun isn't shining or you just need a boost. Is the EcoFlow worth the premium price compared to a Honda? How fast will it charge the Delta Max? How much fuel does it use? And most importantly, how does the generator fit into a home backup system when you already have solar and batteries? We'll answer all those questions and more in this video. Thanks to EcoFlow for sending this out so I can put it through its paces. It's an efficient inverter style generator that outputs 1600 watts with propane and 1800 watts with gasoline. It retails for $1,599, but during EcoFlow's incredible Black Friday sale, you can save $300 on the dual fuel smart generator and even get it for free if you purchase a larger system through November 28th. Check out my code in the description to save even more. Overall, it has a slick design that looks more like a Delta power station than a traditional generator. It weighs a hefty 67.2 pounds and is roughly the size of the Delta Pro. The front panel has the same bright, clear display as all the Deltas. Below the display are warning lights for carbon monoxide and low oil pressure. In the middle is an electric start button, and on the right is an AC inverter on-off switch and an IoT button to pair this with EcoFlow's excellent smartphone app for iOS and Android. Below this are two ports that flank a ground terminal. Left port is for EcoFlow's battery connection cable that lets you directly charge Delta power stations much more efficiently with DC power. The cable also has communication pins to let the Delta tell the generator to start itself when the battery level reaches a threshold you set and turn off when charged. This direct DC connection is compatible with the Delta Max and Delta Pro and lets you use 10% less fuel by avoiding AC losses. On the right is a single 15 amp three prong AC output receptacle. If you need more outlets, you'll need to use a power strip. This plug can be used to power any standard AC appliance and charge power stations from other brands or even the smaller River 2 series. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can use the AC and DC output ports at the same time. On the right side is an access panel for the 80cc single cylinder four stroke engine. Around back is the exhaust with muffler that EcoFlow claims is 56 to 67 decibels at seven meters, which is pretty quiet. On the left side is a quick disconnect for the propane tank, a pull cord, and dual disconnect knob. On top, there's a filler cap for the one gallon gas tank. In the box, you get a 15 foot battery connection cable, oil funnel, screwdriver, spark plug socket, breaker bar, double ended wrench, LPG hose, user manual, and warranty card. When you first get the smart generator, you need to open the side panel to access the engine in order to connect the lithium battery with this connector. You also need to put oil in the engine. This needs a little over 12 ounces of 10W40 oil. Just fill it with the included funnel to the bottom threads, put the cover back on, and it's ready to run. Let's start with my preferred fuel, propane, because its long shelf life and clean combustion means this is much more likely to run smoothly after it's been in storage. According to EcoFlow, this consumes 1.6 pounds per hour when running at 1600 watts. They claim you can get one kilowatt hour per pound of propane, and since a 20 pound propane tank can only be filled to 80%, you can expect to get about 16 kilowatt hours of power, which is quite impressive. They include a five foot propane hose that has a really slick quick disconnect. Just click it into the port on the side of the smart generator, attach it to your tank and turn on the gas valve. On the generator, turn the fuel valve to the on position lets the gas flow so it's ready to start. For the first run, it's important to slowly pull the starter cord a few times to circulate oil and fuel into the carburetor. Then you can either do a faster pull to kick it over or use the button on the front panel to electric start it with the integrated lithium battery. Now that I confirmed it was working, I can power it off and connect it to my Delta Max power station. This beefy 15 foot cable connects from the front of the generator to the expansion battery port on the side of the Delta Max. Charging it directly via DC is 10% more efficient than AC according to EcoFlow because we're avoiding the losses of converting to and from AC power. Before going further, it's best to pair the smart generator with EcoFlow's smartphone app for iOS and Android so it will show up as a device that I can manage and monitor. Mine paired right away and the app gives lots of settings for the generator in addition to being able to turn it on and off manually and seeing the current output. In the settings for the Delta, I configured the state of charge where I want the generator to turn on automatically and the max state of charge where it should shut off. 
For my initial test, I set the generator to turn on when the battery hits 0% and stop at 100%, but I'll normally leave this at 20% and stop at 90% to make it easier on the battery and run the generator for shorter periods of time. As soon as they're connected together, the smart generator will see the delta is drained and automatically start itself to start charging. That's pretty slick. And its 2 kilowatt hour battery pulled the generator's full output of 1600 watts on propane. It charged from 0 to 100% in 1 hour and 22 minutes, which is very fast, and only used 1.8 pounds of fuel. That means I could recharge the max about 8 times on a single tank, or 4 times with the extra battery attached. If you do the math, this matches EcoFlow specs of 20 kilowatt hours of power from 20 pounds of propane, but they should be more realistic and base this on 16 pounds. In any case, 16 kilowatt hours per tank is still a lot of power and much, much cheaper than having lots of extra batteries. Now, elevation can also impact efficiency, but here in Connecticut, I'm basically at sea level, so it's a non-issue. Now, I really like that the generator automatically turns itself off when it reaches the target state of charge, so I don't need to babysit it to avoid wasting fuel. When charging a Delta via DC, you can also use the AC output at the same time. In my test, when I plugged in an AC space heater, the charging rate dropped to stay within the 1600 watt continuous load, which makes perfect sense. When running, the generator seemed very quiet, at a full 1600 watts of output, I measured 63 decibels at 7 meters, or 21 feet, which is on the lower end of the range EcoFlow quotes. It's important to change the oil after the first hour or two because as the engine breaks in, a lot of small metal shavings are dislodged from the engine. You can see how dark the oil is in just two hours of runtime. Let's talk about gasoline fuel next. Gas is more energy dense than propane, so it can output up to 1800 watts continuous, which is 200 watts more than propane. If you do go with gas, I strongly recommend that you find a gas station that sells ethanol-free gas if you want to start this reliably during an emergency. The filler cap for gasoline is located at the top of the generator and has a capacity of one gallon. I gave it a few slow pulls on the cord to prime the gas and it started right up. I then connected the Delta Max and it charged up a few minutes faster than propane because I could max out its 1800 watt input, but it's not that big of a difference. EcoFlow claims that the one gallon tank will produce 5.4 kilowatt hours, but my test, I got closer to four kilowatt hours of power from a gallon of gas, which is enough to charge a Delta Max with the extra battery attached or a Delta Pro. When running gasoline, it's important that you run all the gas out of the carburetor before you store it, or there's a good chance it won't start next time. It's not documented, but if you turn the fuel knob to the O, it will effectively shut off a gas supply and keep the engine running until it runs out of fuel. Thanks to Johnny's Weekend for the tip. So we know this works well, but why would you even add a generator to your home backup system? I think batteries are best suited to handle power outages because unlike generators, they're quiet, efficient with smaller loads and can run continuously for days. But unless you have a massive battery bank, you can quickly run out of power during an outage. Solar is the preferred way to recharge your batteries because it's renewable and is better for the environment. But if your solar array isn't big enough to keep up with demand and fully recharge your batteries during the couple hours of good sunlight you get, you could easily fall behind. That's why having a small, efficient generator is a smart addition to any home backup setup. Generators are best suited for putting out large, steady loads for a short amount of time, so they're the perfect complement to batteries. The EcoFlow Smart Generator is the holy grail because you can set it and forget it. It'll turn on and off as needed, you just need to add fuel. One limitation of the EcoFlow Smart Generator is the DC cable that connects the generator to the Delta. It's only 15 feet long and they don't offer an extension cable. So I found it tricky to find a place for the generator that was a safe distance from my home and could reach the delta inside the basement. All of this is a balancing act to minimize cable losses and the best I could do is place the smart generator about eight feet from my basement bulkhead and run the cable down the stairs and into the delta. From this location, I have connection points to my nearby solar array and a heavy duty AC extension cord that runs to dual transfer panels on the other side of the house. It's not ideal because I have to leave a crack in the bulkhead to get the cable through, so I'm wasting a bit of heat and letting some weather in, but it does work. Fortunately, the smart generator is rated at IP23. However, since you lose power during bad weather, I might try to put some sort of a shelter over the top to keep it as dry as possible without interfering with airflow. 
The AC output on the generator is great for situations where I want to charge other power stations that lack the DC connector. Outside my house, I installed this tidy AC input receptacle next to my solar inputs so I can plug a heavy duty AC cord into the smart generator and connect it inside my basement via this special outlet. It did a great job fast charging my Blue Eddy AC500 at over 1500 watts. I also used it to charge the new River 2 Max and it worked great. All right, so what do I think of the EcoFlow Smart Generator? Well, it has a long list of pros. It has a slick industrial design, deep integration with the Delta units, app control with auto start and stop, dual fuel capability for propane or gas operation, and it's quiet and very fuel efficient. However, there are a few cons that are worth mentioning. First, the 15 foot charging cable is limiting when trying to hook it to your electrical panel and solar while keeping a safe distance from your home. It uses a proprietary plug for DC, so there's no way to install an outdoor receptacle. The higher RPM engine may mean a higher pitch noise and potentially shorter lifespan than a similar generator with a lower RPM motor. EcoFlow's warranty is shorter than a brand like Honda and its longevity is less proven, but in fairness, the build quality seems very good. Lastly, repairs can be a bit tricky. EcoFlow told me that local shops can do tune-ups, but I'd imagine you need to ship it back if anything electrical went wrong. Overall, I think the dual-fueled smart generator is a really great addition to my home backup setup. It gives me peace of mind to know that I can stash a set of 20-pound propane tanks indefinitely and recharge the Delta enough times to power essential circuits for weeks when combined with solar. Yes, it's a bit expensive, but the level of automation and control you get from EcoFlow's app integration makes it more than worth it if you've already invested in the larger Delta power stations. So how well does this stack up to the venerable Honda EU2200? Well, we know those are incredibly quiet and reliable, and it's a proven workhorse, but the Honda only runs on gasoline, and the hassle of dealing with rotating gas and clogged carbs makes that a non-starter for me personally. Yes, there are tri-fuel conversion kits from companies like Hutch Mountain, but those make this option more expensive than EcoFlow's smart generator, the DC to DC charging and built-in communication between the smart generator and Delta units make this much more convenient and efficient because you can let the Delta control when the generator turns on and off. Look, if you've already invested in the EcoFlow ecosystem, the smart generator's deep integration with the Delta units is the special sauce that makes the smart generator a lot more useful than a standard generator like the Honda. Needless to say, I'm very impressed and wouldn't hesitate to recommend picking this up for increased peace of mind when the grid goes down. Let me know what you think about the smart generator in the comments. Would you add it to your backup system? All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time.